Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install updates automatically on Ubuntu, and this includes security updates. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's go ahead and hop on into the tutorial. All right, we're gonna be working with my website at microdomain, so I'm gonna log into that server via SSH. It's an Ubuntu server. I'll put my password here. And as you can see when we log in, there are 26 updates that can be installed immediately. 12 of these are security updates. So Normally, without automatic updates, obviously, I would have to log into the server on a frequent basis, check for updates, install those updates, and make sure everything is good to go. Um, but the goal here in this video is to make this happen automatically. And the, there's infrastructure that we can put in place to actually have this happen. And part of that is the unattended upgrades package, and the other part of that is... Um, a, a notifying piece to that aspect. So let's go ahead and uh, install those packages so we have what we need and then we can configure them. So the first thing we wanna do is do a sudo apt install unattended upgrades. And I'll type in the password here and then that's already on the system. So we can do sudo apt install update notifier common and uh, did I update notifier c-o-m-m-o-n n-o-t-i-f-i-e-r there we go all right so we already we also have that on our system as well um, now with those uh, those installs we get to uh, we there's what I should say is part of those installs are some configuration files that we have to edit so let's edit them I'm going to use the vim text editor to here it's under etc apt, apt.conf.d, and then 50 unattended upgrades. Now in here um, is basically, as it says at the top, automatically upgrade packages from these pairs. So basically by default, it's uh, selecting only the security updates. If you wanted to install all updates um, unattended, you can do that. Um, by getting rid of these two slash marks here. I'm just gonna do the security updates because um, another decision that we'll have to make is do you want to reboot the server? Because a lot of times when you install an update, you might have to reboot the server. And if that's the case um, and you have a live production website, then maybe that's not the best thing you wanna do. Or, uh, and we'll get into this too, you can configure that to happen at a low um, volume of users like middle of the night kind of thing. So um, you can pick what you want to uh, update here and we'll, or I should say upgrade here. Uh, let's move down here. If there is a package that you know you don't wanna be updated, um, like your your web server because it might break something or like your MySQL database, you can use the syntax down here to blacklist those type of applications and packages. Um, we're not gonna do any of that in this video, but we'll keep working our way down this file. And, and the part that I actually wanna look for is, um, uh, yeah, so unattended upgrade mail right here. So in order to be uh, notified via email that an upgrade was, a security update in this case happened, you can type in your email address. So let's do Tony at Tony teaches tech. And then um, you can pick what type of updates do you want? Do you only want to be notified when via email when an error occurred? Or do you want to be notified anytime that system was updated? Anything like that you can do only on only dash on dash error on change. Um, I'm going to do only on error. Because that's really all I wanted to know about otherwise everything's working the way it should be. Um, what else do we have down here? Do you also want to remove unused kernel packages? Yes, I think I do want that. Um, do you want to remove new unused dependencies? Yes, and do you want to remove unused dependencies? Now, I, I can't remember off the top of my head what the difference is between these two new unused dependencies and unused dependencies, but it doesn't hurt to have them both um, uncommented here. Um, as I was alluding to earlier, unattended upgrades for, uh, do you want the system to reboot automatically? And depending on your production system, if it is a production system, this could work out with true because down here we can specify a time that we want that update to happen. So although the 
updates are installed at a an earlier time in the day, perhaps, potentially. Um, the only time that will reboot is, for example, in the middle of the night at 2 a.m., when it's not going to have a high impact to your to your website. So you don't have to do what I'm doing, but I just want you guys to know that this is available. Um, there's some other options here. That's all the major ones that I want to discuss with you, though. So let's go ahead and save our configuration changes now. And um, just because we made those configuration changes, we still haven't, um, I guess, en enabled the unintended upgrades at this point. So in order to do that, uh, I'm going to copy this and paste it here. So we want to do uh, dpackage reconfigure uh, dash p plow dash plow is actually uh, priority low and then unintended upgrades. So let's go ahead and execute that. And you can read through this, but it's basically saying uh, this is important to do to uh, install these updates. Um, do you want this to happen? Do you automatically want to download and install stable updates? Yes. And now it's creating that configuration file for us at this location. So let's go ahead and look at that. So we can do sudo vim this. And um, basically, in, in this, this is already configured for you, but it's saying, uh, Unintended upgrades is true. It's either one or zero in this case. And do we want to update our packages as well? Like it, this is equivalent to sudo apt update right here and sudo apt upgrade right here. Okay, so those are fine right now. And you know, if, if you wanted to at this point, you can do something like this and I'm not gonna do it because it kind of takes a little bit of time to do sudo uh, unattended upgrades, dry run and debug just to see what kind of would happen. Um, but like I said, I'm not gonna do that to waste time on this video. Uh, what I do think is valuable is the fact that while you can configure when these updates are installed, uh, it takes a little bit more work. Um, I want you to know that the default, and I should explain this, the default is going to execute um, at lib systemd system apt dash daily dot timer. So if you look at that file, um, basically every day it's gonna at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. and some random offset from that within 12 hours, we're going to uh, execute the updates. The um, We're gonna check for updates and if there are updates, we're gonna install them. So that's kind of confusing, what do I mean? So Basically, twice a day between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., some random time in there, and between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m., some random time in between there, we're going to check for updates. So that's basically what this syntax means right here. Um, at this point, you're good to go. You can log out, get out of your session, and uh, the next time you log in within the next, I guess, 12 to 24 hours, um, like we saw in the beginning of this tutorial that there were uh, 26 updates that can be installed. The next time you come in, you'll see that that has happened. And actually, um, if you do want to look at the logs here, you can look at uh, the history at var log apt history log. And I'm not sure if that'll exist now. No, it doesn't exist. So, um, but that'll start to populate with information even after you do the uh, the debug um which I just showed you the dry run here uh, that'll populate the history.log. So um, hopefully that all makes sense. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe for more like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.